Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're super, glad, we're super glad to see you today. I'm Lisa Daly, and with me is the fabulous uh, panel that we have every week, or mostly every week, uh, for our writing live stream. And I think before I start rambling on, as I always do, I'm going to go around the circle and let everybody introduce themselves. Sako, why don't you go first today? Tell us a little about you. Howdy neighbors, I'm Sako Toomey, also known as Cass Voigt. I write horror and I'm a witch and I'm a graphic designer. And sometimes I combine those three things. Um, so if you are looking to market yourself as an author or you're looking for write pop-up writing sprints and that sort of thing, you can find me at this YouTube account. Um, I intend on doing some sprints later today. Oh, nice. Fantastic. What time are you doing that? Do you know? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no. 2 30 sometime. I, I don't know. I gotta, okay. I gotta reschedule it because I completely forgot I was hosting today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So stay tuned for that. You know, the easiest way to find out is just to subscribe to your channel and then hopefully you'll get a notification. Oh, we have a friend visiting us today. <laughs> and Oh, hi. Hi, oh, that's Odin. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, such a goodness. sweetie. Thank you. Thanks very much. He, um, he usually is not in here when I'm on the live stream because he needs to like keep an eye on all of his people at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so he usually is like outside my door, staring at my, keeping an eye, you know, we're for everybody else in the house. And so, but I have my, I left my door open. So he, because he decided to pay me a visit today. So that's good. Robert Jones, tell us about you and your channel. Well, my channel is the story detective and I too have been a graphic designer, graphic artist, sequential artist, writer, all around <laughs> storyteller in my life. And I take all that and put it into my channel for looking at craft under a Sherlockian microscope and we break it down, try to simplify it, hopefully make it interesting and fun for the viewers and give you, separate the facts from the BS. <laughs> and I also do tech reviews. There's a lot of BS too. So there it's really great for, I'm really <laughs> grateful a lot for of his. <laughs> Not just in storytelling, but really in the world. But like, so, and yeah. art in general. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I feel like there's a lot of BS. Yeah. So uh, it helps to have a guiding light a little bit. Yes. Yes, that is absolutely true. Doll Cecil Bruno is here. Hello, Doll. Hi. We're super glad to have you today. So tell us a little bit about you and your channel. Hello there, humans. I am Doll Cecil Bruno. I'm a partially blind owned voices author, also known as the Ace from Space. I write primarily sci-fi, as you can tell from my branding. And I also write other, uh, other genres in short stories and a little bit of poetry. My channel is eclectic so to speak i'm i'm learning i'm new to the whole writing industry business thing so i learn as i go and i share as i go so if i find a useful writing tip i will put it on my channel usually i stream on tuesdays at 9 a.m eastern but i am rethinking that schedule as well or maybe i will move my streams all together to twitch i'm uh, streaming is difficult. We will see. We will see. But any updates, if you want to know everything else, like any update that I have for the future, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or you can subscribe to my newsletter, which just came out today. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So very good. nice. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Awesome. And wait, now I can't remember what order I went in. Michelle, did I do you? Do, I didn't do no, you Michelle, yet. It's Michelle. Michelle. I was going zigzag across the screen. Okay, <laughs> Michelle. Hello, darling. Tell us about Hi. your channel. Hi, Michelle Schusterman. I'm a young adult and middle grade author, and my writing channel is writing workshops, traditional publishing chat, and writing blogs. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'm Lisa Daly. I'm a traditionally published author of both fiction and nonfiction. Uh, I'm primarily writing rom-coms these days, including today. And, uh, and of course, you guys are all here, so you already know that every week on Wednesdays from 11 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m., we do writing sprints. Yay! So we have our uh, many of our usual crowd here to join us today. 
So uh, let's say hi to some folks in the chat. Nihilus Geek is here today. Oh, you were to first. Back, we're very, very happy to see you today. Very nice. Laura's here. Hey, Laura. So glad to see you today. Oh, so sweet. My sister from another mister. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Novelist Ali is here. Hello. Good morning. All right. Look, I'm here. Uh, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin's here. Oh, I love, I love your avatar, Caitlin. Uh, very nice to see you. We're super glad you made it today. Jenny Noble's Jenny. here. Hello, Jenny. Yeah, I brought my I brought my Hi, witchy Jeannie. crowd over. <laughs> Love it. I know, right? We have a really nice like this. This is really lovely. And of course, as as per usual, I have not tweeted or put this on Facebook or anything. I was too disorganized this morning. So, yeah, I had I did right but we went to the beach for a little while and I didn't do anything else, right? So it was really nice that way, except this morning I had like a panic attack because I have a to-do list that's approximately nine miles long. Oh, and no. so, yeah, so now I'm like, oh, I gotta get all this stuff done. So anyway, yes, Spence, hello Spence. We're super glad to see you today. <laughs> Laurel's here, hello, such a good crowd. All right, Emma Ward is here. Hello, hello, lovelies yourself. Oh, Spence also took a uh, mental health week. <laughs> mm -hmm. I needed a week, I just got a day this week. Uh, Spence says, even though today is technically the last day of my mental health week off, I have stuff to do. Very nice. Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hi, super glad. Oh, this is a great question. Nicole says, hey, hey, speaking of newsletters, I need to choose a provider. Any recommendations? MailChimp. I yeah, use so, do you? I use MailerLite. I'm with oh, MailerLite. Mail yeah, yeah. yeah MailerLite too. Yeah. That's the one I use. So I have used a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different ma email platforms, and I love MailerLite. First of all, super easy to use. Uh, I think Mailchimp and MailerLite, uh, you know, they both have a deal. Like your first couple thousand, about fifteen hundred subscribers are free, mm -hmm. but MailerLite is ch cheaper than Mailchimp. Like once you hit your number of, and it's not so much subscribers, I think, because. Um, you get paid for, or you get paid, you um, pay like based on the number of e different people you said emails to. So mm -hmm. you can have a list of 25,000 people, but if 5,000 of them are, are media people and you only send out to your regular list, you're not going to pay for those people you're not sending to. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's my recommendation. Robert, did you say, who's your, who's your mailing list with, Robert? Um, I don't actually have a newsletter, so I don't have one. But these are interesting recommendations to think about for the future. <laughs> Robert. Okay. This is this is my this is my goal for you. You have to start building that. It's super important. I literally think it's the most important thing you can do marketing wise as an author. More important than build making a big big social media following, more important than, you know, being on TV or having a big YouTube channel, like a mailing list, an email list where you can push a button and send your message out into the world and get people to care and act and know you. That's yeah, I'm going to have to uh, start working on it. I mean, I have worked on it. I have a lot of people from AuthorTube and um, right. the word stocks and a lot of people that I've talked to and uh, have sent me emails for either craft advice or wanting to be a part of the, the monthly events we were doing last year. So I do have an email list. I just don't have it officially on a, a mail chimp kind of thing. Yeah. So it's kind of compiling at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So, so do compile it, but here's my other piece of advice is because you're just starting to build it now, segment now. So keep those people who are asking you for craft advice mm -hmm. separate from people who say sign up on your website, separate from people who are specifically, you know, that get some sort of a, a newsletter magnet. So keep those people all separate because you're mm -hmm. going to, even though some messages you send out will be for everybody, many, you'll have a lot more uh, you, you'll be a lot more effective if you are sending the right message to the right people. Right. And obviously people who want craft advice maybe are not the same people who want to read your books and vice versa. All right. right. 
Very nice. Laurel's and, you know, that oh, was using too. So uh, that's that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, as some of you know in the group that uh, well, I did finish my draft that I was working on my story last week. So I'm Yay, working nice. I'm working on a craft book now. So they're gonna fuse because the the craft book is going to actually be an analysis of the book that I'm working on. So readers uh, can read the story, but craft people can have an actual book to reference rather than dozens yeah. of books, like in many craft books. Yeah. So it's um, it's breaking down structure but structure is really across the board. It's about characters. It's about your words. It's about psychology. And I thought about breaking that down into videos last year before everything imploded. And then I started, you know, talking to Dal to get structure that she didn't understand from Save the Cat. And we did a couple of readings. We did um, a science fiction book and we did a literary novel. And I looked at my points and we divided the pages where I thought things would break down in the, the major parts and i've done that in my own reading uh -huh. too and it works and i thought this is going to actually help people to understand how to evolve and create their own structure rather than just a series of beats so that's what i'm right. going to be working on today and that's what's oh, coming up as far as publishing i love that well i think there is nobody better to write that than you because I, yeah, I always, I always say, we're just lucky since you are. Um, but I always say that you really know more about craft than, uh, you know, than just almost anybody. I mean, you really are like published authors, indie authors, editors. You just, you, you have incorporated everything you know about storytelling from comics into, you know, into like, longer form storytelling, but also, well, maybe there's nothing longer form than comics because they do go on forever, right? Well, um, what I learned about sequential art is essentially what all writers um, discuss. It's in a slightly different form, but right. they also have some answers that writers in traditional craft don't come at because yeah. comic books are a fusion of movies and novels. The publishing oh, yeah. is generally the same in a different format because it's a magazine. But right. we take those two forms and fuse them together and the ideas that have come from that. And it's a wealth of information that people aren't digging into. But True. you really have to go back to the people that did it well and uh, learn what they learn and then sort of apply it to your writing. And it's like, oh, look at that. Here's what nobody's talking about. Right. And those right. moments are the things that I think can evolve you. Right, right. That's what I was going to say, really change the way that you write. Well, and the other thing about you is that you read more craft books, I think. That, I mean, I love craft books. Most authors love craft books. Most mm. writers love craft books. Craft, I said craft, not crap. <laughs> <laughs> but like you, I think you read more craft books than anybody, anybody. So anyway. yeah, I also had some good teachers with writers that I've worked with and writers that I fell in with, like Saul Stein, who is a master before most of us were thinking about mm -hmm. writing. So mm -hmm. he was a great yeah. person to have as a teacher. Speaking of craft books. Yes. Uh -oh, we have another well, one. The ones that I picked up and I haven't read, but I watched okay. the uh, Ron Howard directing on Masterclass. Yeah. He is a good visual storyteller. So I'd recommend watching some of that. Mm -hmm. But he's got the art of dramatic writing that he recommended that helped him. I a lot. love but, that book. And at the bottom it says, its basis in the creative interpretation of human motives. And that's what all writing and structure is about. Mm -hmm. yeah. He also recommended making a good script great. And again, it's about fusing movies and various forms of storytelling. And screenwriters are great at really getting the most out of it. Right, we have 90 pages. So if somebody like Ron Howard is saying, this is a book that I've learned from, I'm gonna pick right. it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have never read Making a Good Script Great, but The Art of Dramatic Writing is an incredible mm. book. Really, really incredible book. Script books are awesome for storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, and that's it. There's something about that shorter format mm -hmm. that, I mean, you know, like my earliest professional writing skills came from advertising. And if you have people who are determined to ignore you and you only have 30 seconds to tell a story, you have to be really, really focused in what you're trying yes. to accomplish. Novelists so. and so many people, that's one of the large mistakes that I've seen 
um, for years is that writers will come at something and they will tell you points about characters and right. then they will go through the novel and they will make that point two, three, four times. Mm. And screenwriters, they make it once in a strong way. And right. you, you understand that and then you move on. You're not and repeating. You, you don't have the space to repeat. They're right. supposed to do that. Right? Yeah. Not everybody does that. And <laughs> it, it drives me bonkers. So I'm, <laughs> my um, my boss, who sends, he writes scripts and sends them to me and I illustrate them. Mm -hmm. And like he'll wait like four pages to describe a character, <laughs> which isn't great. <laughs> you should do that when the character is first introduced. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. All right, let's um, answer a couple of other uh, newsletter questions really fast, and then we're gonna go to our five minute warm up, and we're gonna get to sprinting today, but I wanna come back and talk about the stuff we're talking about. All right, Laurel says, I've heard MailChimp gets really expensive really quickly. It This is one of the reasons why I like Mail or Light, because Oh no, oh, no Lisa. Out. The only one that I know of her that, yeah. Oh no, am I frozen? Yeah. Hold you on. were am for I a hot second. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so I was gonna say Mail MailChimp does get more expensive, like does have kind of a high ramp. This is why I like, this is why I originally chose Mail or Light and I, um, and I really like it a lot still. And I've been using it for like, I don't know, five years, maybe six years, five years about, and I, I love it. Wow. Okay, Nihilus Geek says same thing. MailChimp's really good, but expensive. It is time to go through my intended newsletter magnet today. Yay, fantastic. All right, so we have a couple other people who came to say hi. Mary, we're super glad you're here today. Doing some catch up at cleaning and organizing, getting ready for a big apartment. Nice, very nice. We're super glad you're here today. Hello, Alley Cat, we're, we're really glad you're here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Pioneers and Petticoats, I love it. What a great name. <laughs> Hi, Leah, we're very glad you made it today. Also, a few comments above, Adega said hello. Hi, Adega. Oh. Hi, Adega. Hi, Adega. Hi, Adega. Hey, Adega. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I think we. I think I had Spence and um, M.M. Ward. So, Which Allie I keep Ken forgetting to talk to Adega about something. <laughs> All right, you guys get together. Okay, Alley Cat, have class in less than an hour. Came to say hi. Thank you. Hello, darling. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get to our five minute warm up spread. When we come back, I want everybody to say what they are going to be working on today. Robert told us he's the only one. We're going to keep it a secret until we get back. Uh, but we're going to do our <laughs> five minute sprint. You can open up your documents, do your stuff. And we will talk about what we're all working on when we come back. All right, hold on. Let I me get this get my open. Water during this sprint, I forgot it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know I did too. I came running here. I'm like, I realize it's been like a couple weeks since the time changed, but I'm still not all the way together on that. Okay. Uh, my brain is like, yeah, sure. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's start sprinting. We're doing our little five minute sprint. So get your water, uh, do your stretches, open up your docs and get ready to write in our next longer sprint. We're gonna take five minutes. Here we go. Three, two, one.
All right, here we go. Very nice to see you all. That was a good warm up. I ran and got a drink. I opened some stuff up. I got my big to do list. I'm good. All right. I should have posted on social media. I'll do that at the start of the next one. So let's see what everybody's working on today. And then I'll go around and you guys can all talk about what you're going to work on today. And then we will get ready because you know what? Alley Cat only has an hour. So we got to make sure she gets at least. Make the most out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. So Alley Cat's going to be. Hold on, I've got a banner going. Let me get rid of this. What? Okay, there we go. Now I can manage. Okay. And <laughs> Allie Cat's going to be editing her novel and eating breakfast. Nicole, editing newsletter reader magnet. Hence the questions on newsletters. I'll be getting that ready to go by summer. Yay! Very nice. I'm. You guys know, like, I am the the queen of preaching about the newsletters. It's so mm -hmm. all right. Maybe she, she talked me into making yeah. one. Yeah. It turned, okay. And it turns out that I am very consistent with my newsletters. Okay. No, November, December were my months of I'm not, I'm not doing Jack. Like, I'm, no. But okay. I was in heart recovery. But since January, when I said I'm coming back, I came back. And I have been consistent about sharing my newsletter when it's supposed to go out. That's which excellent. I'm surprised. I, I, I am usually not consistent with YouTube, for example, uh, because talking and recording and like, ugh, that, that, that's always intimidating. But it turns out that writing wise, like when I have to share something that's written, it's working. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that. All right. Mary today is cleaning and organizing her office. You know what? I need a little, I need, my office is fine. My desk, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> my desk is like, yeah, crazy. Uh, Laura says, I've named two main characters from my work in progress and found photos to represent them. Yay. I do that also. Show of hands really quick. Do you guys uh, find pictures to, um, or give you inspo for your characters? I draw mine. Yeah. Of course, that makes total sense. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I do. I actually cast them. I cast them. I cast them. So, uh, good. Laura, you and I, same page. Very good. Michael C.B. Chen is here. Hi, Michael. Hello, Michael. Darling. Mm -hmm. We wondered where you were today. Um, I, for some reason, I thought the stream was starting at 11.30. My, see? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that's having problems with time. Okay. <laughs> we're very glad you're here. Yay. Oh, good. Callie's here. She says, I got on right as the timer went off. Hello. We're super glad to see you today. For everyone in the chat, the stream is at 11 Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I were better about posting this on social media, it would probably not, like, you know, everybody wouldn't have to remember it. So my apologies. I'll try to be better. A uh, little morning, morning. Nihilus Geek edited 320 words. Very nice job. Debbie's here. She's gonna, she's gonna be inking a page today. We're so nice. glad to see that. All right, Laura, Nigel Fitzroy, younger brother is Victor, and niece Adriana Grayson. It's a monster fill for her. Nice, love that. I realized yesterday I had given like a minor character a name that rhymes with another character's name, and they hadn't oh, been whoops. into the same. They hadn't been in the same scene until yesterday, and I was like. Well, that's, not, that's not gonna work she the one minor character can really be named almost anything um the main character obviously i'm not changing her name but i was like oh how did i do that and didn't even notice but yeah anyway sometimes uh, it takes scenes like that yeah it does right you put them together and you're like oh i can't have that I can't. I have this is, this is why I, I make a list of names i'm i have a chart because my sci-fi is so big, I have a chart with everyone in each department. Mm -hmm. So to make I really sure ought that, to do that. Yeah. 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 I, I do that for the main characters. I do not do it do for Do it the for everybody. No, I recommend that you do it for everyone. Even if it's a minor one. Especially if it's a minor one, because if you have to kill characters, then you know who you're eliminating from the list. <laughs> and then, and then, it's and then you don't know have, who you're killing. Yeah, and then you don't, and then you don't have to like go through each and every chapter like looking for that specific name, because yeah, you just do the find, and you know that that you know that that scene, you know, you will know where is that character, and then you will just get through it. 
Or if you have, for example, a name change, which I did have, you you have a name change, you have to find, you know, you, you have to put everything on a list. When it comes to character names, if you have a big cast, make a list. And if you have like different categories, like I do in my sci-fi that, you know, some people have a special skill of lucid dreaming, the others are clairvoyants, the others are tech prodigies, the others are blah, 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 blah. You know, you divide it into categories so you know where is everybody. Mm -hmm. That yeah, that is especially if you have a lot of characters uh, that and and in particular in a fantasy world or a sci-fi world, mm -hmm. it's 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 probably a really good idea mm -hmm. to keep track of what everybody uh, is doing and can do and who they are. Yeah. Mary says it basically took most of five minutes to write what I'm doing today. Uh, <laughs> Ali's cleaning <laughs> off, cleaning your office, watering plants, and then editing. I really like. There's a lot of office cleaning going on today. Uh, let's see. Le uh, Leah is working on a scene I've been avoiding. 141 words added. Book nine of a historical series. Go you. Nice job. All right, Callie says I'm working on a tool I'll be using for Camp Nano so I can have a bit of a break from outlining. It's funny you should mention Camp Nano because right. that is going to be what we are talking about today when we come back after our first writing spread. Mm. Who's doing it? Who's not? Who loves it? Who hates it? We're going to cover it all today. All right. Uh, Laurel looked up recipes for cook for a cooking class. I'm trying to psych myself to tackle vegan lasagna. That sounds good. I do that all the time. Nice. Uh, kind of by accident, really. But yeah. like, it's so good the way it is. <laughs> I get oh this is so uh, Lee is talking about when we are asking if we um, if we uh, cast when we were talking about it, whether or not you cast your um, your characters or if you use pictures or draw pictures so yeah definitely Alley Cat edited seventy seven words and finished lunch yes Laurel wants to know where do we find the big list of live streams that's over on Devin Cutting's page and there should be a link down in the description below. Mm -hmm. JC is here. Thank Hello, darling. She's one of my today. local lovelies. I know we love JC. Uh, we love amazing. we love everybody here. Mm -hmm. Nicole, there we go. Oh, Ollie, unicorn fan, uh, has already. Uh, has, hello, nice to see you today. Has already said Devin Cutting's channel. I'm way behind the curve on this one, but there is a link below. Mary says, "Who's here? It's Savvy. Hey, hello, hello, Dolly. Hi, Savvy. Hey, Savvy. Sorry, I was late. I had to uh, ship out orders at the post office and walk the dog, and I got a donut at Starbucks on the way back." Uh, oh, I didn't nice. realize Starbucks did donuts. They do. There you go. Oh, oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Is that like an old fashioned? Those are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh my God, a it. cappuccino. Nice. Mm. Hold on just a second. Look at, like, Savvy's got like this. I really like your background. Like, you've done a really not. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really Thank nice. Thank you. Really, really nice. So, um, Oh my gosh, I just had something I wanted to ask you and now I can't remember what it was. Uh, oh, you said you went to the post office. I have a secret I have a secret to share. So remember how I said like I went to like when I was sending out a bunch of stuff at the beginning of the pandemic, like contest winner things and things like that. Uh, I went ahead and got like a stamps.com account because yeah. because it was um, I didn't want to go to the post office because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. So, well then like now I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I have all this, I printed out a bunch of postage ahead of time, which you can do. And then now I'm like, well, I'll just package it and drop it off. So I don't have to worry about catching anything when I go to the post office, mm -hmm. but I don't ship stuff out every day like you do. But I wanted to tell you about a little secret because I thought, well, I don't need to pay 17 bucks a month for stamps.com because I don't use it that often. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was going to cancel it. And they asked me, why are you canceling? And they give you a list of stuff and one of them can be, you know, you suck. But another one is it costs too much money. And so I checked off. It costs too much money. I, it's not worth it to me to send out, you know, to pay 17 bucks a month. And they came back with an offer for $4.99 a month. Oh, wow. So, like, you can be like, this is too much. And they'll... Oh, I, I love it. Sometimes you just got to ask. Yep. Yeah. Well, and it's automatic. Literally, as soon as I click, the, like you say, I want to cancel my account, you get a little auto message and it says, why are you canceling? 
and I clicked that, and then instantly I got the offer to stay on for four ninety nine. Oh my god! So <coughs> Masterclass wanted... tech notes. Masterclass. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you that if you're gonna do it, keep it for like a month, and then say, oh, it's too expensive, and get the lower price. Wow. Because so, I yeah. feel like it would make your life easier. I yeah. wish right. I wish Masterclass would listen because whenever I have to cancel it, it's like, no, I'm sorry, that's too expensive. It's like, oh, but like, what what is your feedback? I'm like, can you just make a monthly subscription available? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it would be nicer if I could just pay for a month of of Masterclass, enjoy it for a month, because it's not like I'm gonna be watching it for a year. I, there are like just a few specifics that I would like to watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well they, so I know Robert has been doling out the passes. Uh, so did you get, so were you able to use another free pass? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. Okay. I did. And every time I have to, I have to live because I don't have one, 180 bucks. I'm sorry. I, I just don't. Um, I mean, I have to leave and I say, no, I'm sorry. That's too much for me. And it's like, there's no monthly subscription. I always put in the other feedback box that monthly mm -hmm. subscription, please. Well, just keep chaining those um, those free weeks together. So yeah, I ran out of them. They they gave me three, and I used them, and then they gave me three more, and now there's none. They said they'll let me know if they do it again, but that oh. was. Right. It was a well, finite amount. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, but that that was no, but it was amazing because like I watched most of what I wanted to watch during the during the time I was with Masterclass. I watched writers, of course, but mm -hmm. <laughs> knowing knowing me, knowing me, I was watching uh, Masterclass by Neil deGrasse Tyson about mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and, and then and then uh, Chris Hanfield, but you know, an astronomy like space exploration master. I mean, of course, Dal is gonna be watching everything that has to do with space yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious well if i um i'm really seriously thinking about doing it because i really enjoyed um the one that i saw and there were many others that i really wanted to watch mm -hmm. um, and so i will probably do that later in the year so if i do i'll be sure to pass along uh, i can you, also i have passes to oh, hand good. out as oh, well yeah, if you, so if, if you, you guys, guys have cool. If you guys want to keep it rolling, then I'd talk, be happy to. That's awesome. Well, yeah. talk. So, Dal, talk to Sako about that. All right. Yeah. Mary says the majority of characters are cast from our favorite TV shows and movies. I did a very cringy video about that. Oh, we're going to have to check that out. And Laurel was saying, when Dal was talking about, oh, you have to know who you kill off. And Laurel says, oh, all those characters Lisa's probably killing in her <laughs> romances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right. True. That's true. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do occasionally maim some characters, but um, yeah, occasionally maim some characters. But uh, no, I generally don't kill people off because it's a romance, and there's nothing that kills a romance like maiming other characters. Okay. Sometimes, it can, sometimes it can bring you together. Although, although the horror geek and Sako would probably disagree with me and say, like, oh no, nothing's more romantic than a little murder and mayhem. Indeed, but if you're that thinking, adrenaline, if you're, man. For example, like a like a person from, you know, like a widow from someone who died at war, and you know that kind of thing that could happen. So hey, that's it a romance. Does. It's it's true. Well, I often have characters who have died before the story began who are still important. Or... But they could have a flashback. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't usually do that. But <laughs> okay. Laura, uh Alley Cat says Devin Cutting has a playlist. Yes, that's true. Laurel is not finding it. Oh, I wonder if he stopped it. Oh, he found she found it. All right, fantastic. Thank you. All right, Alley Cat's mean, making breakfast at lunch out of it today. Right, you guys? I swear we're I'm still not ready to just yet. All right. He has them listed by day. Hello, Carrie. Oh, we're super glad that you okay. are here today. Carrie Hi. is Carrie is here to do some sprints. Let's say like welcome her by actually doing some sprints. Right this very second. That's why she's here today. That's why we're all here today. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a 20 minute sprint starting in just a minute while I get this all uh, ready to roll here. Doll, would you like to? Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> would you if, like if, to take, if it take wants you to do it. <laughs> yes. Running. All right, everybody. 
open your documents, make sure that everything is ready, get your drink next to you, your snack, your everything. Think about your stories or whatever you're, you're working on today and get your fingers on the keyboard. Get ready to sprint in three, two, one, and sprint.
All right. Here we go. Let me get rid of this for a second here. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. It took me a second. Oh, my goodness gracious. So, you guys, I just heard from Carol in, in um, the uh, – oh, look who it is. I just heard Carol from Carol on Facebook, and she does not – she finally has gotten her stuff. She is alive. She's Yay! setting up her office. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Yes. So uh, we are super excited about that. She'll be hanging out in the chat today and hopefully she'll be back with us really soon because we miss you. It's been a long winter without Carol. It really has. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has. So, oh my gosh. How did everybody do on that last uh, stream? The last stream, last sprint. Good. Pretty good. good. I did pretty good. I started editing a video that I need to have done for Friday. It's a big one. Excellent. That's mm -hmm. pretty exciting. You've had a lot of big ones lately. So. Yeah, I have over two hours of footage for this one, and it's a problem because I really want it to be under an hour if possible, but we'll see. I'm taking on the topic of Jordan Peterson versus feminism. Oh my. Mm. That's a big topic. That's good. You have to make that like a two parter or something. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe do part two. Yeah, I'll I'll see if I need to do a part two. Savvy, I watched your video the other day about that Rachel Hollis webinar thing that <laughs> like, oh my god. I have to tell you it was very inspirational because for weeks now I have been trying to script a video I want to make about scammy writing courses. Yes, oh, that is such an it. important topic. Do it. Yeah. Yes, I will watch the crap yeah. out of that. <laughs> <laughs> it was it helped me very much. I love hearing you rant about that stuff. It's great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there's and there's so many, so many scammy writing courses. So many that, scammy writing courses. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome, Michelle. That's gonna be really great. Uh, what do you let's go around really fast because we were gonna do it before uh, the before the sprint. We talked about what everybody else was working on. We did not mention what we are working on. Savvy just told no, Lisa's frozen. Ah! <laughs> no, oh, there she is. <laughs> uh, good. What are you? What are you working on today? Who is uh, Michelle. Me? Michelle? Okay, well, I yeah. finally turned in my last Ghost Ryan client project this morning. So, starting Yay! now for all of April, I am just working on my book, and <laughs> I'm gonna do Camp Nano. So, um, I want to draft it during Camp Nano, and so today I'm just doing prep, like going through and rereading what I wrote, what I worked on, because I haven't looked at this book in over a week and and just, yeah, trying to get prepared. <laughs> get everything going. That yeah. is awesome. Speaking yeah. of drafting Camp Na and Camp Nano, Camp Nano starts tomorrow, as we've been informed by Sako. We are going to talk about that after we run around really fast and talk about what everybody's working on today. Sako, what are you working on today? Um, Savvy inspired me to... Um, actually get the addresses for the free gift that I promised everybody like in February. Ooh, that's, that's exciting. Great. That is great. Get, making it to the, um, to the post office has been uh, yeah. harrowing. At first I was like, how did I inspire that? And I'm like, oh, the fact that I just walked to the post office. Yeah, I love it. To be fair, though, I get it. Walking to the post office, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, the post yeah. office is like packed. Yeah. Oh, like packed, packed. All yeah. I find that if I go the to the time. post office early in the morning when it first opens, it'll generally be less packed because people don't like to go to the post office the first thing in the morning. Hmm. That's a good, that's a very helpful tip. Thank you very much, Savvy. I went there earlier this morning too, and there was like one other person. So, yeah, uh, maybe I will do it tomorrow morning rather than after my shot. That's a good yeah. idea. Yay, shot for you tomorrow. Yay, shot for me tomorrow. Yay, Yay. that's awesome. Ouchie. Yay. Yay, that's awesome. I um, yeah, I got mine a week ago, which I was excited. Sorry to everybody where we just didn't show up. Um, yeah, I got mine a week ago. I'm super excited about that. And um, and now every like Mike got his on Monday, and now like a lot more people I think are you know it's opening up. Every
everywhere. So hopefully everybody uh, can get theirs pretty soon. Okay, yeah. Robert, tell us what you're working on today. <coughs> I am working on a craft book. It's mainly dedicated to structure, but structure in story, characters, structures and everything. And I think if you have a better understanding of it, you can manipulate your craft better because it's all about psychology and everything has a form. Yeah. Yes, you told us that earlier and I'm sorry that I like, you know how I am. All right, <laughs> so thank you very much. I think that sounds so great. I'm very excited about that. Dal Cecil Bruno, what are you gonna be working on today? Um, I'm, I'm making a, a, a small reel for Instagram and because uh, I want to post one reel for each of my short stories that I have posted out. And I'm also working on research for a new thing that I'm working on. You know, like I, I'm keeping it quiet for now. Okay, Ooh. fantastic. I am continuing work on the rom-com that I've been working on for a while. Uh, I'm making excellent progress. I wrote at the beach yesterday, which is the first time in a long time. And Ooh. um oh, so Oh my gosh, it was so nice. So yay, all right, fantastic. So let's go through some comments. You guys let us know if you haven't already told us what you're working on, what you'll be working on today. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about Camp Nano because I know there are a lot of people who are super excited about it and a lot of people who are like, eh. So, <laughs> so if you have not already commented on this, I know you. I can see new comments are starting up. How do you feel about Camp Nano? Are you gonna do it? Are you not going to do it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell us what you think about it. Okay. Uh, so Michael B. Chen had C. B. Chen had said, "Oh, we have a full house on screen today. That um, beats a flush. Beats um, a flush. Of course, Carol would make it four of a kind. And guess who showed up? It's <laughs> it's like you like magically summoned her." Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm super happy. Everybody is happy. Everybody, buddy, is happy to see Carol. Carol, 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 Carol. So, <laughs> yes, right? Super love. <laughs> Ray just joined. Hello, Ray. You're not too late. We are going to go for another hour. So, you are good. You are just in time. Allie Cat got 512 words edited. That is awesome. Also, Frozen Lisa. Everybody's happy, Carol. Oh no, yeah. Oh my. Yeah, everybody's happy on? about Carol. Yeah. I, yeah, everybody. Aw, we love you. We miss right. Carol. We do. We do. Okay, Allie's off to class. Study hard. We love you. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Uh, Leah got five forty-four. Wow. Out of you. Very nice. Maya's here. Good Yay, day, Maya. 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 All right. Oof. My Atlantic teacher life, Carrie, I think. I'll have to go back and look, but I believe it was Carrie. Got my subplot figured out. It is such a pain to figure out subplots. That is true, isn't it? I don't know. Sometimes they come really naturally. to Like, sometimes they just pop up. Sometimes, for me, they're like a plot device where I need some other thing. I don't want to make the whole book about something. And sometimes they kind of take over a little bit. I had a subplot in... Um, I had a subplot in... Uh, 15 Minutes of Shame, where a woman is like, like in the beginning of the book, which I had written sort of just, you know, just flowed out of me like in the middle of the night kind of thing. And um, I wanted to make this woman like a single mother, but I had all these things for her to do. And I did not want any readers to kind of get up hung up on the fact that she's like gone all the time and, uh, and all this. And I decided that I wanted to make the children her stepchildren. Um, and so and then I thought, like, well, it might be interesting if she's, like, trying to fight for custody of stepchildren. Because, you know, there are a lot of stepmothers who, you know, you marry the dad, you are essentially raising the kids. But then if you guys get divorced, step parents actually have, like, very few rights. And in a lot of states, no rights at all. And yet you've been, like, really attached to these kids and you parent them. And it ended up becoming a bigger part of the story than I anticipated. Mm. So, right? Subplots are a challenge. They can either be, like great they can add a lot they can subtract or sometimes they just take over all right alley cat keep keeps going while i'm quite, oh thank you you're so sweet nihilist geek says savvy do your video and <laughs> i don't think i can handle that <laughs> all right we'll just do it in, like, i think i'm gonna do it in one part i'm just gonna try to really trim down anything that's unnecessary Ooh. 
All right. That's a lot, though, to get that, like, down from two hours I've, to one. I've done it before. I sometimes will have, like, two and a half hours of footage. I get it down to 45 or 50 minutes if I – I edit a lot. Like, I spend a long time on editing. That's good. That's really good. Caitlin got 277. That is fantastic. Nicole, watched a module from Nick Stevenson's Your First 10K Readers course, trying to decide if I should dive in and buy it. So, yeah. All oh, right. Has, has I'd love else to hear a review of that because I get his – like, I signed up for his email list because I wanted to see what advice he had. And he does so much trying to sell you stuff that I get very annoyed with him. Yeah. But I'm wondering if his course it has any valuable information. It seems very overpriced. I'd love to hear someone review it. Yeah. Well – Right. And sometimes the people who like send you a bunch of stuff trying to sell you something, that's what their course is like too, that their course is just like more of them trying to sell you another thing where you'll get a right. little bit, right? Like it's all about the upsell, which makes me insane. And there's so, so many different opinions. It's like your first, um, <laughs> your first 10 K your right. first, of uh, several yes. chapters. I mean, they break it down in so many different ways. Right. Maybe beginnings are important. You know, your first chapter is very important. And I think the first quarter of a book structurally is the one thing that almost doesn't change from book to book, at least in most books. Writers who play with craft really kind of manipulate the rest of it. But getting that first setup and the first quarter established is important but how do you know that's going to be 10k or 5k okay. or whatever oh. you know it's this is your first 10,000 readers oh 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 I thought it was weird. <laughs> sorry <laughs> I was like where is he going with that and then I'm like oh like ding, light bulb. A yeah. little bit. that's why sometimes I'm looking up to read it uh, okay. no. <laughs> that makes more sense well here's what's interesting about 10,000 readers right which is good you can build a good career on 10,000 the sort of uh, oh, yeah. prevailing prevailing wisdom is that you need like a thousand super fans to build a great career a thousand, a thousand people who love you and buy everything you write. And that if you have those people and then enough people who just sort of wander into the room and buy your book, that like that's enough to have a sustainable, you know, career that you could live on. But I think if you have a thousand though, you go like, oh, I'd rather have 10,000 though. So I, sure. I'd be interested. <laughs> Are you going to buy it? Are you not going to buy it? Let's hear. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Uh, Laurel watched Artisan Greek video about anti-Asian racism. Very good, worth checking out. Ate some food, finally got back to editing. A video that's a month overdue. That sounds like me. Uh, yeah. Good job. All right, if you... Um, <laughs> I did stream here and just jumped and I just completely lost my place. I'm so sorry, hold on. <gasps> Look who's here, everybody. It's Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. You. We haven't seen you in a while. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Today's, like, crowd is, like, awesome. Okay. Caro is is saying, I'm working on getting my life together. Wish me luck. Can I say that Caro is, like, the most together person ever? Anyway. But, you like, right, you know how sometimes, like, when stuff goes sideways that, like, it feels like everything is so out of kilter? Mm -hmm. Is that, can I say that out of kilter? Off kilter. Off kilter. Off kilter. Right? If it's out of kilter, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> you know you're in trouble. <laughs> I yeah. that. Nihilist Geek discovered my document is written in both present and past tense. Oh. Can I say, I almost Oof. never I almost never do that, but I have been having that problem. I want to write it in present tense, and I keep going back to past tense for some reason with this book I'm working on, and it's making me crazy, and I'll remember, oh, criminy, I'm working, this, I'm doing this in present tense and then i'll realize i'm doing it in past tense again i write all of the my worst. notes in present tense and uh -huh. all of my content in, in past, past tense i i generally well it kind of depends on the book i generally will write in present tense i i because of the style of writing that i do i feel like it kind of gets the story more energy but um for me but that said, for whatever reason, this book want, really wants to be in past tense. So I may have to just give up the battle and let the book be the book. Yeah, uh, I'm still past tense. I mean, I, I've tried present tense and it, I guess I just haven't found the story for it. There's yeah. writers that do it very well and it seems like it does add that extra bit of energy. And yeah, I just 
haven't wrapped my mind around it yet. <laughs> you know, it just occurred to me that I, when I write second person, I always write in present tense. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, we all have like our little, yeah, we all have kind of our little things that we do. I, I am fascinated why I keep going to the other direction though. Like, what is going on with me? All right, Callie. Hello, Callie. We're super glad to see you today. Uh, Callie got a good bit done. I have a lot to do, but I made some headway. Excellent. Charlotte's here. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. We're super glad to see you. Maya says, hopefully Canada can get more doses. Fingers crossed. I know, I know that, um, God, wouldn't that be, I bet Canadian folks will come over here and start getting, right? That would be a twist for you guys to come get medicine here instead of the other way around. That would be a twist. Wouldn't it? Um, I hope you guys get some, I hope everybody gets it soon because we all need it. Uh, Laura is the first to, uh, to tell us what's going on with Camp Nano. She says, love it, doing it, making Instagram posts right now about my new work in progress. Good job. Yay. Nihilist Geek will be editing after Monday. Maya is doing Camp Nano. We'll try to finish editing draft number two of my upper YA urban fantasy. Laurel, working on second draft of the Dark Fantasy for Camp Nano, but haven't decided on a goal yet. Caro says, I was, says she wasn't, I remember I was there for that conversation, actually. Well, I was there for at least one of those conversations. Um, actually, I think it was here. I think we were all there. Uh, she said she wasn't going to take part in Camp Nano, but maybe I should. At least I can work on the series Bible for an idea that I want to do. Yeah, series yes, Bible. Yes. <laughs> Spence is not doing Camp Nino. Project PCR is napping. I'm taking a month to burn through a lot of back burner projects that have been itching my brain until May. Good. Michael, I would, but I don't think you'll need it. You're Carol Brown, right? There you go. <laughs> That's so sweet. Question okay. is Camp Nano just in April or is there one in the summer too? There's, There's one, one in July, in July yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, because I'll do the July one. That I want to do Camp Nano for working on some holiday romances, but I don't think I can do like I'm not prepared for You're it. You're not ready. I'm not ready to start it tomorrow. Yeah, I wasn't uh, sure whether I'd be working on anything, but since it's nonfiction, I can't really do camp anyway. So I might use it to try to get ahead on this because I mm -hmm. need to take a few weeks off from the manuscript I just finished. So I'm hoping I'll get a first draft on this. Oh, and by the way, we were talking about screenplay and other story forms earlier. And uh, Georgie's son's wife is an actor yeah. and she's also a writer. Oh. Um, she's been in a lot of commercials oh. and she crowdfunded a short film that she wrote and I produced and maybe directed or co-directed. At eight o'clock tonight, they're having a live stream because Ooh. this short film won a whole lot of awards. And uh, this group in Pennsylvania is having the cast and people get back together and they're going to be talking about the film. I don't know if they'll get a lot into craft, but you may learn about crowdfunding and about producing something small and having it, you know, build a success because they've really built a success out of this film. That's great. Can you throw, either send me a link in the... Yeah, I'll send you a link on the next... Uh, well, I'll send it now. Okay, fantastic, awesome. All right, uh, so Leah is shooting for 40K for Camp Nano. Niles Geek, uh, oh, Niles Geek has a writing video coming up when this stream ends, excellent. JC, excited about camp, terrified at the same time, just doing research and outlining for my next novel. It'll be the third book in my mystery series. Well, I'm so excited. Caro is like Michael, the Michael Chen love. <laughs> No, please okay. stop. <laughs> we all love you. We all love you. We have missed you so much. You already know that, but we have. So uh, Nick Stevenson has a great way to make you click on his emails to Sally. Though. That's how it feels, yeah. To Sally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mary will not be doing Camp Nano this year. I don't think Jamie will either. She's dealing with some personal stuff. All right. Uh, Carrie says, looking forward to camp now more than uh, more that I have signed up to Campfire Blaze, but still feel very behind and not ready for tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Michael says 100 is greater than 1,000. It's greater than 10,000. <laughs> Why, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whew. Thank goodness we have, thank goodness he's here to keep us on the right track, right? I mean, whew. 
Uh, we love you. Beep, beep, beep. Hello, yeah. darling. Hi, guys. I'm glad to see you. Off kilter. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, if the text is switching to past tense, it knows some. That's what I keep that's what I keep thinking. Like I keep trying to wrestle it back. But yeah, yeah it may end up being past tense. That's okay. a really interesting way of putting it too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Well, and it's a lit it's it's a little different than what I've done before. So I yeah, so I'm not quite sure. But yeah, for whatever reason, it wants to be past tense. Okay, uh, Laurel does not have any info on Nick Stevens and stuff, but I've done some of Tim Grawl's free workshops and I feel like he really gives good value even for the free stuff. All right, that's good. Ray, thinking about doing a poem a day in April for National Poetry Month and working on middle grade fantasy for camp. That's gonna be, that's a lot. Michelle is making a face like, holy smokes. <laughs> okay. well, I'm a, sounds so much scarier to me than any goal I could set with a book. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about a daily practice as well that isn't. Great idea. So poetry intimidates the hell out of me. Same. Uh, <laughs> I, struggle I with was poetry. thinking. I was thinking of poetry for NaNoWriMo instead of the. That could be cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's really a really cool, cool idea. That'd be really cool. All right, this is. <laughs> <laughs> out of kilter yeah, there's, there's no more kilter, more kilter. <laughs> that's where i that's where i was at the end of 2020 there was no more kilter okay um let's go around really fast before we go back and do another stream or another stream another sprint uh let's start with doll yes or no to camp nano love it okay here's what i want are you doing it do you love it or do you hate it but we want to go fast for everybody because we want to get in another sprint so are you doing it though? Maybe. Maybe. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you in the middle about it? I'm in the middle. I love the community aspect. I don't love to see people stressing about how many words they can write in one day and doing like 25K days and 30K days. And like, I, I, I hate that nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's good to know. Okay. Robert. Doing it, not doing it. You're like, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not doing it except for <laughs> it's useful. It'll be useful to help, I think, boost this manuscript. I don't hate Camp Nano, but I don't love all the aspects of trying to get a book done in a month. Some books, if you have the right planning, I've done books in a month. And then there's other books that just refuse to be written in that short period of time. And I don't fight it. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, that's good. Okay, Sako, yes or no? Are you participating this year? Yes. I'm definitely Love participating. It. Yeah, I'm definitely participating. Um, I'm setting it at a nice low goal, um, which I might be able to do like in a weekend. And then whatever I do on top of that is just gravy. Because uh, right. I promised myself I would write like a book in a month like back in like like october so i'm doing terribly on I my on my months. grand schedule yeah uh. yeah so um this book refuses to be written in a month and uh <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna try and make some headway on it and um on top of that i intend on either writing a song a day or doing a flash fiction a day I haven't decided which of those two I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it on top of. You guys are amazing. You are amazing. All right, Michelle, yes or no? Yes, yes doing, doing it. it. And I don't really have any opinions on it because I've never done it before. <laughs> I've never right. I didn't do Nano last year. I flaked out. I intended to do NaNoWriMo and then November happened. And I did not. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm excited to hear what you think about it after you um, after you've done it. That's really cool. All right. And savvy, you say you were like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it in July, but I'm not sure about in April. Um, and love it or hate it. Oh. Oh, frozen. We <laughs> okay, you can come back in a second and tell us if you love it or hate Talk it. Talk about suspense. <laughs> I know. Love it or hate it. Dun, dun, dun. I will not be doing it. I have done it before and I really generally enjoy it. But as you guys know, I really struggled last year to like keep making progress on Am my I novel. Back? 
You are back now. now. Okay, sorry. My internet randomly, like on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at this time, for some reason, it just goes nuts. For, I don't know what it is. Probably construction stuff. What I was going to say was that I love doing month novel writing challenges. The thing I hate is that I'm confused about how to sign up for cabins and sign up for things. And Yeah, that's they, not they a thing. They took it away. Did I take that away? Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just everybody's just doing it individually and talking to each other on the internet about okay. it? Oh, yep. okay. Then love it. Yeah. Okay. Yay. <laughs> yeah, cabin that's... thing was a terrible idea. Oh, okay. yeah. I was so confused. I got so lost with that last year that yeah. I just kind of gave up because I was like, what, what, what am I doing? What? What I know. <laughs> Well, or you like when I did it, I guess two years ago, I was kind of doing it and, um, and like just kind of on my own. And somebody was like, Oh, you're doing it. What cabin are you in? And I was like, What cabin? There are cabins? Cabin. Like, yeah, I'm like well, I don't even understand this. I yeah. was so confused. No, I have a tent. Uh, <laughs> I don't like, no, I'll be staying in a hotel. I can't, I'm not an outdoor camper. Girl. The bad um, things about the cabins is, um, the first cabin that I had, we had some really good conversations. And then when Nano shuts down, all of that is lost. Oh, so, yeah. so I made my little private Nano Facebook group so that if anything got going, it would always be there. Yeah. And since then, we haven't got that same kind of rhythm going because the world has just been a mess. So yeah. It has. Well, hopefully we're on our way out of that very soon. Um Okay, so for me, I think it's kind of fun. We'll not be doing it because I really struggled to get writing, uh, to, to just write consistently all through last year. I really, really had a hard time with that. And I'm finally back on track, and I do not want to mess with it. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I probably would make, oh, there goes Savvy. I'm sure we'll see her again. I will probably make my numbers, but I'm not, like, I'm not going to participate. I'll just cheer everybody on and keep doing my thing. So yeah, last year was messy. Word. This year, you know, getting that manuscript finished that I started last year and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it felt so good and getting those ideas flowing and feeling good about creative stuff and better about myself. I mean, there's just so much that went down last year that uh, I think needed a period of healing, but the manuscript was symbolic and getting through some of that. So that felt really good. That is good. That is really good. Well, as you can see, I have popped up the timer because we have to get to another sprint. We do not, right? We are all here to ride today. You guys are awesome. Let's get planning on our, on our Camp Nano projects if you're doing that or keep working on what you've been working on all day. Don, would you like to give us a little pep talk before we sure. go? Okay, all here right, we go. People. All right, get ready for working on your beautiful stories. Be patient with yourself. Work at your own pace. Even though we have a timer, that doesn't matter. It's not a competition. It is just a short countdown for you to get in the zone and work on your beautiful things. So fingers on the keyboard, minds on the story, and get ready to sprint in three, two, one, sprint.
Okay, here we go, everybody. Did I just oh, we just lost Savvy again. Oh no. No. All right. All right. Well, uh, yay. How did everybody do with the sprint? Very Let's good. Let's start with you, Michelle. Good. Um, I'm just, I have the, I wish I could tilt my screen and show you. I have on my big monitor, my save the cat software open. And I'm just like, you, there's all these cool little features you can do. Like right now I'm going through every, every card and opening it. And I can mm -hmm. see the, the, like the summary of the scene and you can add on the side, which characters are in that scene so that you can easily access their little sheets with their descriptions you made of them. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding all the characters and like kind of organizing each scene. And yeah, I'm about halfway through act one. So it's going good. You, nice work. You are going to be ready yeah. for camp tomorrow. Very, very good. Awesome. Uh, how about Doll? How about you? How did you do in the last sprint? I'm working on a few things here. It's going quite well. I mean, it's slow, but I'm used to slow pace with me. So it's going fine. That's good. Okay. Robert, how'd you do? Not bad. I got about 300 words this time, 400 words last time. So um, the first, well, I'm on chapter three and the chapter is about done. So that's not bad for the sprint. Okay, good. Very nice. How about you, Sako? Oh, you're muted, honey. Did I Helps do it? if I actually unmute myself. Together. I think I did it because I just was <laughs> able to unmute you. All right. So how'd you do? I did great. Um, Laura Nettles has a hundred horror prompts on her blog. Cool. And so I combed through all of them and be like, I can write a thing about that. I can write a thing about that. And there's more than enough to supply me for the month. So I might <laughs> use that for my flash a day Excellent. system. Oh, cool. Very, very good job. All right. Fantastic. I got lots of little small things done. Um, did not write during that sprint, but I will be writing right after this, I think. Uh, okay. So let's take a quick look at the chat before we get rolling. Uh, let's see. Michael thinks I actually seem to be in kilter or on kilter or with kilter today. So <laughs> yeah. I bless you for that. I was saying it's because I went to the beach for a little while yesterday and like that kind of makes that like makes my world go. So yay, yay. Uh, Mary's back on the desktop, still have the laptop open for an extra view. Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, just got her desk all fixed up. She's got a new wrist dress, new mouse pad. Also put a curtain over my window. Look at you. Very, very fancy. Very, very nice. Good job. Very bad books did taxes and edited a chapter. That's very, uh, that's really fast. Very good. Nice work. Leah got 521 words, almost completed the scene. Good job. Laurel. But what I want to know is if very bad books killed someone in that chapter and <laughs> prove that death and taxes go together. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, Leah got 521, almost done with the scene. Great job. Laurel uh, got through a couple minutes of video editing. Very nice. And Caro decided to make some easy goals for April and then stared off into space for about five minutes. It's 2021 over yet. Relatable. <laughs> uh, it's going to be good. I, I, I feel like it's going to be over in June. I feel like that's when <laughs> we're just going to get a head start on 2022 and it's all going to be a good thing. So good gracious. All right. Well, I'm excited for all of you to start uh uh, to start Camp Nano. Yeah, yay. So, Sako, I know you're really excited. Do you have any good tips for it? Tips. tips I, I outline like a crazy person usually before I start writing. Um, if you are a discovery writer, and I am partly part outliner, part discovery writer, like even just having like a sentence on a note card is enough for a scene is enough to like launch you into something. So just so that you can like have a basic structure and have, you know, have something to look forward to for each yeah. step of the story. Isn't that kind yeah, of outlining I think that's so discovery? True. 
I mean, you're discovering the skeleton of your book and then you add the, the meat and the the guts to the thing. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Speaking of guts, very bad book says, whoa, story D, because he's bleeding to death. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Maya ate lunch, but we'll do some editing eventually. We know what that means. You don't have to worry about it. We got it. Allie Alexis Springs is here. Hello. We're super glad you made it today. We are about to finish up, but we are very, very glad that you made it today. Super, super happy about that. So, uh, yeah. So how about you guys in the chat? Anybody have any uh, any helpful advice for uh, everybody who is going to be doing camp? Have you done it before? Are you it's your first time? Is it going to be good? I, oh, I can... I tend to write the same way that I normally do when I'm doing Nano or camp. I think part, like I should have known kind of last year though, that, that um, things were going awry when, when my Nano kind of went off, off last year. Right. It was like, I could feel it then starting that 2020 was going to be not good. So oh. yeah. Right. 2020 though, but now we're in 2021 and I feel like I'm it's off a whole new year. Right? It's a whole new year. I feel better about this. I know not everybody does, but I feel I feel hopeful. So that's that's yeah. a that's a good start. So All right. I have a tip mm -hmm. um, on <laughs> on wish of all places you can get like a five pound bag of candy <laughs> for like five bucks. If that so that should get you through the first couple of days of San Piano. <laughs> That's a very good tip. Right. That was a very good tip. Carol, Carol had some advice for us. She says it's okay to be kind to yourself in your writing. Mm -hmm. Create a story you love, not what you think will sell. Amen to that. Yes. Yes. Amen to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Michael says Camp Nano's better with marshmallows. What is it better with marshmallows, you guys? Right? Laurel says I've ex I've succeeded with Nano twice now. Failed at camp twice. I think it's all about the mindset. Mm. Isn't that funny? It does feel more to me, I have the same thing. Like it does feel more to me like um, like Nano in November is like the real nano and the mm -hmm. camp. Like I don't feel the sense of urgency in the summer that I do. Um, I, so I remember when April was script frenzy mm -hmm. and I used to like, that was like nano for scripters, like for, right, right. for comic mm -hmm. artists and, and playwrights alike. And like, so that mindset was always like frantic to me. So yeah. my Aprils are usually just as tense as my Novembers. Right. Only because of that, like mindset that was set years and years and years ago. Isn't there like, there's a big like art month too. Um, I can't remember when it is though. Drawtober. Yeah, Drawtober. Right. So similar thing. Yeah, similar, similar. Inktober thing. and Drawtober. Ink Those are Inktober. Yeah. The, the thing the about Inktober is there's like some drama, that, like kind of like surrounding the term. Really. Yeah. So draw. I've I've dived off into Drawtober, which has been treating me a lot nicer. Well, that's <laughs> nice. Carol coming in with the answers. Good job. Too, very very yeah. nice. All right, Maya's advice, keep working at it slowly, but surely event, eventually the work creates actual things you can be proud of. Yes, that is absolutely the truth. And Leah says, my whole career in writing, I write what I love, somehow has translated to readers. Yay, but I write what inspires me, the best feeling. Absolutely, absolutely. Ray has seven and a half bags of coffee. Uh, in the kitchen cabinet, I should hopefully have enough coffee for the first <laughs> yeah, no. You get your coffee and Sako's giant bag of candy. I have like a funny picture from years ago when I was working on Deadline and um, like my desk is completely littered with like just junk food. It's all like snacks and gum and all these different kinds of candies. And I have gotten so many like messages over the years from other authors who are like, oh my gosh, that's my desk looks just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, draw some. Super and draw some. Okay, I like both of those. Those are cool. Different all right, everybody. We 
Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, Ali says I need to splurge on junk food. And Jean is here. Hello, darling. We're so glad you're seeing. She says, do not litter. Do not litter. This is good advice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only, like, right? We don't want to litter in our desk. My desk is a mess. I feel like I need a do not litter sign right above mm -hmm. my desk because right now it's like, it's like piled up. It's not good. I have to get that. That's probably why I've been like, dressy lately because I really do like things to be pretty neat and when they start to kind of clutter up I feel like oh. so mm -hmm. all right you got <laughs> with that exciting news you're like Ooh, I, hold on let me take some notes on that uh, oh we so, also have the um the script uh, discussion tonight Oh, right. Okay. So I put a link to that in the chat, you guys. The script discussion is tonight uh, right there. It is in the chat. And I will also put that in the description as soon as uh, we are done with the stream today. And if, if you want to watch the film, it's actually on Amazon Prime for free. It's called The Wisdom Tree. Ooh, I love that. Okay. The Wisdom Tree. All right. Cool. That is so awesome. Well, I'm excited about that. I think that would be pretty pretty neat to participate um, if uh, if anybody's interested in that production chat tonight. Very cool. Very cool. All right, you guys. So before we go, let's hop around and uh, and just do our outros. Say goodbye. Who has a live stream coming up after this? Sako. Savvy. And, and Savvy. Savvy. Right, Savvy's is tonight at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time, Author Tube Sleepover. That is always fun. There's a link to it down below. There's also a link to Savvy or to Sako's channel. Sako, you're thinking like 2:30 ish. I'm thinking 2:30. Okay, perfect. So 2:30 Eastern time for Sako. If you guys want to keep sprinting throughout the day, let's quickly do our outros. Say goodbye and let these fine folks continue with their writing. Uh, I had Sako go for a story detective. Would you like to go first? Sure. Well, that's my channel, The Story Detective, <laughs> where we take everything story oriented and put it under a Sherlockian microscope, analyze it, break it down for the viewers, separate the BS from the facts, and hopefully encourage people to write. And I do tech reviews for writers. And I've got a couple of those coming up when I get back to videos. And I keep saying soon, but it really will be soon now that my <laughs> manuscript is finished. It'll be a, a sooner soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Sako, tell us about your channel. Howdy, neighbors. I'm Sako Toomey, also known as Cass Boyd. I write horror, and I'm a witch, and I'm a graphic designer, and sometimes I combine those three things. So if you are looking for sprints or you're looking to market yourself as an author, you can find me at Sako Toomey slash Cass Boyd uh on youtube here at 2 30 eastern and uh drop by i'd love to see you yes be sure to do that link is in the description below thank you so much for being here today michelle tell us all about you all right i'm michelle schusterman i'm a middle grade and young adult author and my what is it youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> writing workshop, traditional publishing chat and writing blogs <laughs> Very nice. I'm super excited about the uh, about the video that you mentioned earlier about yeah. uh, about sort of uh, oh, talking about writers. right the scammy writing. Yeah, 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 I'm looking forward to that too. Let's really your last couple of Me videos, too. Michelle, have really been hitting it on the head. So. Oh, thank you. If people haven't gone and watched them, they should. <laughs> That's right. Again, link in the description. You want to go on over to Michelle's channel. Thank you for hosting, says Carol Brown. Carol, thank you for swinging by the chat. Yeah, thank you, Carol. So much. We will be very excited to have you back on the screen with us. We're very excited. Uh, thank you so much. We have such a great, great chat today. Uh, I'm Lisa Daly, and I'm uh, on my channel. We talk about how to write a book you're super proud of and get it published. Uh, and then, of course, we do this fantastic writing, this fantastic writing stream every Wednesday, 11 to 1. Mary, thank you so much for being here today. Jean said she read The Crazy House by Patterson on her Mexican vacation. Love to read these books. They're so quick and easy to be like, I read 10 chapters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, JC, I can have a question from Carol. 
Inquiring Minds want to know. And Leah, it was so great to meet you. I'm so glad that you swung by today. I hope we see you next week. And I hope that everybody has an awesome time writing today. Good job. We love you. And we will see you next week. Bye, everybody. Thanks Take for being care, here. Take care, everybody. Today.